Is the show going to continue to push the line of what is he willing to do for the visitors? On a scale of 1 to 10, Tyler is still about a 4 or 5 on his uh, chart of completely being devoted to the bees because he does love his mother. He cares for his mother very much. But it's just like any other kid when they're just about to get out of the house. You're, you're kicking and screaming the whole way out. You know, he's, and especially, you know, his mom's never there. So he has real issues with, no one's really there for him. And Lisa and the V's are, are starting to really take care of him. I mean, the last thing you guys left off was Anna showed him the mothership, uh, showed him the engine room. I mean, people don't usually do that for him. So these, these, these aliens are more human to him than most people. So he's starting to really kind of, what he's attracted to in them is all these wonderful things and all these technological things that can make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. Whereas humanity is kind of always going in the opposite direction. It seems like we're making things better, we're making things better, and then we tear everything down. We're making things better, and they seem like they're not going to tear anything down, and that's beautiful to him. For the most part, almost all of your scenes are shared with sort of these, you know, strong, beautiful women. Do your relationships with them in any way mirror the relationships of your character with them? I'm a very different person in real life, and when I turn into Tyler, it's, it's a little bit more enchanted by, uh, and a little bit, because, you know, we all click, but uh, Tyler's a little bit more enchanted with the V's than I am. I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm enchanted with all of them just because they're brilliant, beautiful actresses who know what they're doing. You know, I, I actually study actresses more than I study actors because in order to make it in this business, an actor just has to be good. An actress has to be great.